Hi, my name is Matt, and I'll be talking to you today about some cool work we did on a multi-robot optimization problem. The company in this engagement is Adabotics. They're based in Calgary in Alberta, Canada, and they have this cool multi-robot system where the robots can move in three dimensions, not just two, which saves a lot of space. Because of this design, they've been able to raise a significant amount of funding and work with multiple multinational companies. Amy, the Alberta Machine Intelligence Institute, has been around for over two decades. It's one of the national AI institutes in Canada, and it supports fundamental research on campus with multiple faculty, staff, and students. But Amy also works directly with companies to try to bring AI out of the lab and into the real world with things like training and research. And today, I'm talking about the outcome of an applied research collaboration with Adabotics. Adabotics has command software that works both in simulation and on the physical robots. So this means that we can do all of our work in simulation and be pretty sure that whatever we do in virtual will work in the real world. As I mentioned, there are bins throughout this three-dimensional structure. When orders come in, we need to decide which robots go to which bins. And then once they get there, the robots need to bring these bins to the openings in the structure. When they're at these openings, people or even other robots can then take items out of the bin and fulfill an order. We identified three opportunities for improvement. The first was, could we figure out ways of speeding up the simulation, even if it wasn't as realistic? The second one was figuring out, could we better figure out which items to put in which bins in the structure? And the third was, which bins are we going to select for the robots when an order comes in? In all of these cases, the ultimate goal is to optimize how fast orders get fulfilled. As I mentioned before, the first challenge was that the existing control software was very accurate, but it could only run in real time. We designed a simulator specifically for the next two problems I'll talk about. So this simulator, we called it UltraSim, is less realistic, but it was very fast. So this is critical for machine learning so that we can collect lots of data and it allows us to look ahead into different possible futures. The second question is, what items do we want to put in which bins in this structure? Instead of heuristics, we used association rule mining. So the idea here is that items that are ordered frequently together should go in the same bin. This way, you can fulfill items with fewer bins, which should take a lot less time. Now, when you're loading these bins, you need to make sure you don't violate any constraints, like you know trying to put too many things in a single bin. And then once we have these rules, we can fine tune them using our fast simulator. On the right, you can see we do get improvements. We're able to fulfill more orders more quickly, although the results are not statistically significant. The third problem is given some order, which robots do I want to send to which bins to get all the stuff for that order? The existing approach used heuristics and it generally tried to pick bins where the bins contained multiple things that could be used in an order. Our approach was to use supervised learning to do look-aheads. So we'd think about all the possible bins and predict how much time it would take to go to those bins, bring, bring the bins to the pick station, and then complete an order. So this greedy approach led to statistically significant and practically significant improvements, as you see on the right. Immediate next steps include productionizing this. We want to do more testing on physical robots and eventually put this on customer sites. We also should think about changing demands over time. So for instance, seasonality means that different items will be ordered in different quantities throughout the year. There's also additional research. I'm really interested in using reinforcement learning to improve throughput. We really ought to be able to improve throughput relative to a heuristic approach or even our greedy look ahead agent. We can also think about right-sizing warehouses. So think about, I've got a future customer that comes in and they can give me some assumptions about their supplies and their orders. And then we can tell them, given this size structure and this number of robots, here's the throughput you should anticipate. With that, I'll just say thank you for listening. I hope you check out our paper. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out. Thanks.